Now let's see how to balance equation in the case of subtraction. First let's consider the case when the second number that is this number is missing. Let's take the first example 5 minus dash equal to 4. So we don't know what number comes here right. In this case also we have to draw a basket on both sides of the equation. Now how many things are there in this basket? 4. Let's say 4 triangles are there in this basket. 1, 2, 3, 4. So how many triangles should be there in this basket? Correct. 4 triangles. Now if we look closer, we can see a minus sign here. What does minus sign here means? Yeah, we have to take something from that. If it was a plus sign, we have to add something. If it is a minus sign, that means we have to take something from the basket. So, here there are already 5 triangles in the basket. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 triangles in the basket. We have to take some triangles from the basket so that there will be only 4 triangles in the basket. So let's keep 4 triangles here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this one we have to take from the basket and remove it from the basket. So how many triangles did we remove from the basket? Correct. 1 triangle. So the answer is 1. Now let's see if this equation is correct or if our answer is correct. 5 minus 1. So there are 5 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 1. Minus 1 means we have to cut 1. So how many are left now? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, the answer is 4. So our equation is correct. Now let's see another example. 4 minus dash equal to 2. So first step, we have to draw a basket on either side of the equation. How many things are there in this basket? 2. Let's draw two lollipops. So how many lollipops should be there in this basket also? Yes. Since there is an equal to sign, these two baskets should have the same number of things. So there should be two lollipops in this basket. If you look closer, again we can see a minus sign here. That means we have to take something from the basket. And there are four lollipops in the basket. That is the first number is four. That is we have to draw four lollipops here. One, two, three, four lollipops here. And we have to take away some lollipops from the basket and make it two. Because this basket contains only two lollipops. So how many lollipops should we take away? We will keep two lollipops and remove the remaining ones. Now only two lollipops are left in the basket. So how many lollipops did we take away from the basket? Two. So here the answer will be two. There were four lollipops in the basket. We took away two from the basket and we got the answer two. We will check the answer once again. One, two, three, four. Minus two. So how many are left? 2. So answer is correct.
Now let's consider the second case that is if the first number goes missing. How we will find the missing number? Again, first step is to draw a basket on either side. How many things are there in this basket? Five. So how many things should be there in this basket as well? Five. Now, to find the first number, the trick is that we have to add this number with this number. That is 5, we have to add to 2. That is 7. Let's check the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus two. That is five. So So in order to find the number from which we are subtracting, we have to add this number, that is the number in the basket, to the second number, that is five plus 2 that is 7. Now let's check the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 minus 2. The answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer is correct. Let's take the second example. Dash minus 3 equal to 6. So first we have to draw the basket. There are six balls in this basket. Again, we have to draw a basket here. This basket also contains the same number of things, six. So in order to find the missing number, what we have to do? We have to add the number in the basket to the second number. That is six, we have to add to three. That is six, seven, eight, nine. So the missing number will be 9. We can check the answer here. There were 9 balls in this basket and we took away 3 balls from the basket. So how many are remaining in the basket? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer is correct. If the first number is missing, we have to add the number in the basket to the second number. 6 plus 3, that is 9. 